Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Well, last night I was looking for a recipe for uh, Havana chicken. I know it's like Cuban, right? And I remembered uh, a, a little uh, show I watched many years ago uh, about Havana and the nightlife in the 1950s and the different restaurants and all. And I remembered one in particular that was real famous, but I don't even remember the name of it, but uh, they were talking with the chef and finding out what he did with the chicken that everybody loved so much. And uh, the chicken was marinated. It looked like in a humongous garbage can is what it looked like, a plastic garbage or metal garbage can. And uh, he put all kinds of stuff in there. And so I thought, well, I'd like to try making chicken that way. And so I started looking on the internet trying to find recipes and all of them were a little bit different. So I thought, I'm just going to do my own and use their basic spices though is what I was planning to do and that's in fact what I did. So I'm going to, I'll list this down below, the marinade for this chicken. But I want to just tell you what's going to be it or what is in it because I've already marinated it overnight. So two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of dried oregano, a little half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of hot sauce, and I just used Louisiana hot sauce, one teaspoon of cumin, one half cup vinegar, and it, the recipe said to use the white vinegar. I didn't have any, so I used the apple cider vinegar. One half cup extra virgin olive oil, one fourth cup of cooking sherry. Now it actually called for one fourth cup of white wine. We don't have any white wine, so I use the cooking sherry. One half cup of raisins, a half cup of black olives is what I use. Now the uh, actual, one of the recipes called for those green stuffed olives. I didn't have those either. And uh, so anyway, uh, I also chopped up one small onion. I chopped it up pretty fine and then marinated it overnight in the refrigerator. Now I'm going to cook this at 350 degrees for probably about an hour. But one of the last things you do is take it out of the marinade and I'll talk while I'm doing this too. Let me turn it down here and show y'all. So what I have is I had two large chicken breasts in the uh, freezer, so I just kind of cut them in half, not across them, but up and down, so it really looks like four sort of small uh, chicken breasts. And uh, all the uh, marinade is in here, so I'm just going to dump this out. It's a lot of stuff in there, a lot. Alright, let me get rid of this. Alright, so here's the chicken. Here's one piece. These were really, really big chicken breast. There's another one. Right there. And then here's one right here. So those raisins have kind of plumped up a little bit. Get that chicken spread out there. And all these different vegetables all around. Now the next thing to do is to uh, add the juice of one orange and one lime. So I've already, my orange was really big, y'all, like huge. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and pour that juice in, kind of around the sides, like that. And then the final thing to do is sprinkle some brown sugar on the top of each of these little chicken breasts. And this is dark brown sugar. Just going to sprinkle it on like that. It smells really good, even not having been cooked, it smells really good. Anyway, that uh, little, I think it was a documentary years ago about Havana, 
and I thought that it was so interesting the way they fix the chicken. Now I know there are a lot, lot of different recipes, and if you are from Cuba or you or your parents were from Cuba, and you have a way of fixing this chicken, I wish you would leave that in the comments because I would love to know. Because on that little documentary I watched, of course they didn't really tell what was in the marinade that they used. So anyway. All right, so there it is. Now I'm gonna serve this with black beans and rice, and I'm gonna flavor the black beans like the Cubans sort of flavor theirs, and uh, maybe we'll have some kind of little salad also with them. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees, 45 minutes to an hour is what I'm guessing, so we'll just see. That's what I'm guessing. All right, we'll be back when this is done and we've got the rest of the meal ready. All right, we have finished the chicken. It's actually sitting over there with tin foil on it. Uh, I'm trying to keep it warm, so I want to fix some black beans. I've already got the rice uh, cooking, and so we're going to do some Cuban black beans. Okay, this is really spicy and delicious, and uh, we definitely had the uh, Cuban beans when we were in St. Augustine, which is really the first time I ever had black beans, and that was 25 years ago, I guess, we were in a Cuban restaurant. And right now, this house smells like a Cuban restaurant. It really smells good. Anyway, we're going to use uh, similar spices uh, to go in the uh, black beans. Let me move you all closer. So we're going to start out with a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in a pot. Turn that burner on. So just a couple of tablespoons. Okay, there's my oven. Hold on, let me go cut it off. All right, we're right back. So what we're going to put in uh, this olive oil, if I can get my camera moved slightly there. Sorry for the jiggling. All right, so I've got a, 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 a orange bell pepper. This is a small onion and this is probably three of those large cubes of garlic. So I'm going to put the onion and the uh, bell pepper in first, then the uh, garlic right on top of that, because we don't want the garlic to burn. So we're going to saute that and just kind of uh, get those soft in this pan. So that won't take but just a few minutes, and after we get these softened up, we'll be back. All right, so we have got the peppers, uh, onions, and the garlic. Uh, they're all a little bit cooked, so now we're going to start adding the spices. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of dried oregano, and then I'm going to add really only about a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin. So I'm just going to sprinkle that in, make sure I don't get too much. It's about right. And I'm going to use a couple of dashes of uh, cayenne pepper. Just a couple now. Don't want it real hot. That's good right there. And we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, or you could use regular vinegar. So it's two tablespoons. One, two, and we're going to use two tablespoons of red wine. I can get the lid off of, I mean the top out of this. Ugh. So two tablespoons of red wine, any kind probably will work, or you could leave it out if you wanted to. But we want to get that authentic flavor in there. 
All right, now let's see what else we've got. All right, so we're gonna put um, a bay leaf in. And you can get these, of course, at Walmart. So I'm just gonna use one bay leaf in there if I can find a nice one. There, one bay leaf. All right, so now we got the spices in and the wine and the vinegar and the bay leaf. And now I'm going to add, oh, I don't know, about three-fourths a cup of water. And we're going to put in two 15-ounce cans of black beans that have been drained and then rinsed thoroughly. So we're going to put those in. All right, now we're just going to simmer these for, I don't know, another maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Get those tastes all mingled in there. And uh, the chicken is already done. I'm just keeping it warm. And once these beans have simmered, let's say for about 15 minutes or so, then we'll be ready to eat. And I'm going to fix us a little salad while these are simmering. We'll be back. All right, everything is ready. I want y'all to see this chicken. It is so good. I tasted it one little corner of it. It is delicious. So the last thing to do is sprinkle over some uh, fresh cilantro over all of this. Like that. And we'll be ready to eat. So I'm going to put this on the plates and I'll show you what it looks like. Don't forget to take the bay leaf out of the beans. There's also a couple of bay leaves in here. I see one. There's one. Oh, it's hot. And there's a couple more in there somewhere. I'll have to find those. But anyway, I'm going to get this on the plates and we'll be back. Also have to fix the salad. I had to wipe my hands. All right, we'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. This is really a spicy meal. All right, we are ready to uh, have our meal. We're eating really late at 6 o'clock. But anyway, I had to get the tea ready and the salad. Now, this is just the baby lettuce with some sliced tomato, and the only dressing on there is a little bit of lime juice. There's the chicken, all smothered with the um, uh, raisins and the black olives, cilantro. It's got um, a brown sugar on the top of it. It's delicious. I already tasted it. Here are the black beans with the uh, peppers, garlic, and onion, and cumin, and cumin and uh, oregano, and I forget what else. Anyway, there's my plate. There's where I tasted of it, and it's really uh, super tender, super tender. I did have to marinate that chicken overnight. So anyway, all right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. If y'all decide to try this, uh, it's called Havana chicken, and the beans are called Cuban black beans and rice. All right, y'all, now if you are Cuban and you recognize any of this, or you have a different recipe on the chicken, y'all leave a comment below. All right, we will see y'all next time.